All right, so loading samples into a simulator is great, but it's a sampler. So let's, uh, let's record into it. All right, so I made this folder called Demo 1, and uh, there's no presets in it. There's no samples in it. It's blank. I just made it. So I think that's a good way to work. Uh, we talked about making your own folders on the PC on this memory card and we talked about how to go to utility and create new folders um, personally um, when I'm sampling into a simulator I like to make a new folder and work in that folder so it's not cluttered with all my other stuff but again it's just workflow styles okay so um, I think it'd be just real simple just to record um, BIA right into it just because it's right here and I can auto trigger it the Basimilis Eteritas Alter from Noise Engineering. Um, okay, so uh, I'll just come right out of the out of BIA into the left in. All right, and I trigger it. I can't hear it coming through. Hmm. So the way to fix that is to go to Pan Mix and monitor left and right. This is left. This is right. So I'm just recording mono samples into left here. So I'm just going to turn left input monitor on. And now, lo and behold, we can hear it. Yeah, I'm going to turn morph down. Let's do kind of the, the classic BIA kick. Half of you just rolled your eyes. But anyway, it's simple just to do it right here, right now. Okay. Um, so start by going to sampling setup. And we'll just step through some of these, all right? So the first is your destination. Um, you can sample into channels, right? You can sample into the next available empty channel. Um, I like to go unassigned, um, and uh, the reason why is that I don't want them all stacking up in channels, which then I've got to, to delete. I want to go in and rename them and stuff like that. We'll do that in just a second. You can sample into zones. There's a record mode once, or you can do the circular where you, it just keeps recording like over itself. You can set your sampling time. Um, I'm just going to be doing uh, drum hits. So you know what? Let's keep it at two or maybe even three seconds because there's a little bit of decay. Yeah, two is fine. Um, you could set your sampling rate. So this, you know, truly you'd probably be fine at 48. Um, for probably most things but if you want to do some crazy pitch shifting which this module is just so good at um, it's just recommended to sample at the highest rate so you know let's do that um, there's a naming convention style which is kind of interesting there's just three options um, this is just starts the name like that like sample one um, PNM come on what does that mean I don't know and then new, so um, let's do SO1. So that, you know, then it'll be SO2 and all that. Um, so a simulator is amazing because it records AC or DC coupled. So AC is typically audio, unless you're trying to um, take out some DC coupling that might be uh, in audio. And DC coupled is for sampling voltage. So this thing is great. So you can um, create some crazy modulation coming from something, which we'll do in the next video. Um, we'll capture some modulation and record that and then use that as a modulation source. Um, but right now we're gonna be recording audio. So I'm just gonna do AC coupled. And there's a couple ways of arming this. Um, there's hot arming and there's safe arming. And I think this is a read the manual thing. We don't need to go through every single option. Um, also, I'm going, I'm going to use a sampling threshold, so as soon as it hits anything above minus 40 dB, it's going to kick on. And this is whether you're going to be recording mono or stereo samples. Um, uh, BIA is a mono, mono module, so I'm just going to record mono. And this is the input level. So if you were coming in really hot from something or maybe something low from, uh, for example, morphogen, 
It's classically low signal. You could uh, pump that there or cut this here. Okay, so uh, this looks good. All these settings are where I want to be. So um, my, uh, you can see your signal here is good. This is a nice um, time to maybe adjust this input level. It looks good to me. Okay, so I'm just clicking the gate button on BIA just to get a signal in there. All right, that looks good. So you hold down sampling setup. And because I've got it on this threshold setting, as soon as I hit the gate button on BIA, it's just going to record. So right now it's always listening. There's like a buffer running so that it doesn't miss that first transient. And it's going to record for two seconds as we set right here. All right. So here it goes. And it ends. So right away, you can choose to cancel or erase. So I'm just going to go cancel. And it's going to save that, that sample. So I'll quickly prove that by going to channels and browsing for that sample. And there it is right there. Sample 001. Cap captured at 192. One channel, mono, for two seconds. So you can load it, and then you can play it. There's my sample. OK, so let's do just a couple more here. Let's tweak BIA a little bit and get some variety here. So excuse my hand. So that's a nice sound. So hold down sampling setup. All right, it's waiting to hear because I'm on threshold mode here, right? Okay, there's another one. Hold down sampling setup. Oh, wait, sorry. Let's cancel that. Let's cancel that. There we go. I want to get an I want to get another sound in. <laughs> okay. Um there we go, some classic noise engineering BIA. All right, here comes the third one. Classic. Okay, and channels. So I'll load up number two, which sounded like this. So I've got the first one, that classic kick. We've got a little more life there. And then three. So you turn these to one shots. You can really hear them ring out. All right. And that is how to sample audio into the assimilator.